Hey there, it's Angela. There is no official episode this week. Um, The way that we're doing things now during the season is four weeks on, one week off. Just to give you a little bit of extra time to catch up on anything you missed, really absorb and apply the information if you're a faithful listener, and also to give myself and my team a chance to work on other projects. So this is technically our week off, but I wanted to hop on here and share something with you that I think you'll really love. I started this podcast back in 2015, and we have nearly 300 episodes now. However, I know folks don't have time to listen to 300 episodes. I regularly get comments and emails from people who say, I'm new to your work. I love what I see so far, but I'm sort of overwhelmed by how much there is. How do I know where to begin? And I also hear from people who are subscribers who say, hey, I tell everyone about your podcast, but like which episode should I let them know to start with? Is there like a a good pathway in to kind of give them a nice overview of what you do? And I also know that there are many of you who are longtime listeners who maybe missed out on something that I did that would have been really great for you, but it was before you started subscribing. And you also may need to hear something right now that I haven't talked about in a long time. So That's why I'm creating the new Truth For Teachers playlist. I have carefully curated the episodes that I'm most proud of, um, the ones that are the most popular, the ones that I think will help you the most from our seven years of podcasting. So there's four different playlists that you can choose from. We have the student engagement playlist, which has innovative teaching strategies that build a healthy classroom culture. So this is a good playlist to use If you are looking for tips and tricks to um, help keep students motivated, to get their buy-in, to keep yourself from getting frustrated with their off-task behavior, um, just all kinds of great stuff around student engagement. There's also a productivity playlist. This one has the best episodes on time and energy management and my best ideas on how to create work-life balance. Then there's the encouragement playlist. This one has the episodes with mindset tips and motivation to help rejuvenate and inspire you. So if you're feeling really down and de-energized, listen to the encouragement playlist. That's a great collection of episodes. And then finally, we have the greatest hits playlist, and that's just a collection of the most popular and impactful episodes. So if you're not sure where to start or you're introducing the podcast to someone else, thank you for doing that, by the way, and spreading the word to other educators, um, let them know about the greatest hits playlist because that has some of our best stuff on there, and they can get a good idea of all the different topics that we cover. So here's how it works. You just go to truthforteachers.com forward slash playlists, and that's plural playlists with an S at the end. You enter your email address, and I will send you a PDF that has um, the top 10 episodes, as well as other episodes that I think you might like, and some great articles from our Truth For Teachers Writers Collective that are centered around whatever topic it is you chose. So productivity, encouragement, student engagement, so on. The PDF has um, a description of each episode, a link to its blog post so that you can read or share it, and a link to the MP3 file for listening. There's also some special bonuses and other related resources that I think you might like. I've also actually made playlists on Spotify. So if you have Spotify already, you can just click the button and then you will be able to access the playlist directly in Spotify. If you don't use Spotify, it is a free app. There's a premium version as well, but you can listen for free. Just sign up for a free Spotify account and all of the episodes are already curated there. So you can literally just press play and listen to all of them in a row. I tried to do the same thing on Apple Music and realized Apple Music doesn't include podcasts. Um, On Spotify, you can listen to music and podcasts. Not so in Apple Music. They have their separate Apple podcast app. And on neither one of these can you create public playlists of podcast episodes. You can for music, for songs, but not for podcast episodes. So um, my apologies to the people who don't use Spotify. Um, As I find other ways to share public playlists, I will definitely be utilizing those. But Spotify just made it super easy. And that's what I use personally. So um, anyways, you don't even have to have that. Because like I said, in the PDF, there's a description of each episode, you can just download or click to listen right from the PDF. So go to truthforteachers.com forward slash playlists, and you can share that link with your teacher friends as well. Um, I would love to get some of these helpful episodes into the hands or more accurately into the ears of educators. So thanks for supporting me. Thanks for listening. Thanks for um, sharing. I will be back next week with um, our next official episode.